What is up, YouTube? A few cards here. I'm not going to crack these ones on camera just because they're not all that important at all. And they're duplicates. Always like having a couple extras of these laying around though. Let's get the uh, turntable turning. Some Dotsons. There we go. Fuguzi. And 620. Both Hot Wheels main lines. I do have some cool stuff though coming up here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this kind of stuff. Another main line that I picked up. A little bit of Zamac action. Haven't come across a cool Zamac in a while. Actually, I think the Batmobile was probably the last one. So there's your Dodge Ram. It's alright. Not too bad. Not great. Not too bad. <clears throat> I found some interesting stuff today. So, what is this? Matchbox 75 Challenge. This is one of 10,000. And, uh, I, you know, most of these are kind of ugly. They had the uh, Mazda RX-7. This one actually looks kind of cool, though. And I, I've got a collection of um, I've got a collection of Matchbox trucks that I that I like so I figured getting one of these it would fit right in this is the I think it's the Peter Peterbilt truck now it's not licensed on the card I don't know if the base says Peterbilt yeah it does Peterbilt so there's that with the little box. I don't think I need that box. Um, Hot Wheels Racing from 2002. NASCAR. You will not see me buy a lot of NASCAR stuff. And really this isn't NASCAR. I don't, I don't think I would call it NASCAR. A little Hot Wheels limousine sticker here. That came with it. And honestly, um, I don't care about the car. It was a dollar. And I think I was kind of looking at it as a wheel donor. Because it has rubber tires. They're slicks, but it's an interesting car, to say the least. Little Hot Wheels limo. Got the uh, M&M's graphics. Really kind of ugly, but I like it for the wheels. I have the uh, the school bus that I think is part of this. Well, I have the red one. It, the school bus came out in blue, red. Might have been a yellow one. But I think this kind of fits in with that. But, I don't know. I don't love it, but it's a real rider Hot Wheel. So, worst case scenario, it'll be a wheel donor. Um, here's one that I've been looking for. You all know what it is. Gas Monkey. The Hot Wheels Gas Monkey Corvette. Finally came across it today. It was on the secondary market. This was not a wild find. But it is pretty nice for a main line. I don't like the chrome interior, but I don't like my camera. The paint on it is sick, though. Look at that back end. You got the gas monkey, 
brake light detail, but that gold paint is on point for a mainline 94 cent car. Just gonna try it. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one either being a mainline, but I do want to try and get a better angle of the brake lights with the uh, Gas Monkey logo if I can. Not really. Anyways, I needed this one. I don't do a lot of main lines, but this is one of the main lines that I wanted to have. Another one I found, I'm not a big fan of this brand either, but every now and then I will find one that I think just looks totally awesome. And this is one of them. Oh man. It's got stupid packaging. All right, let me uh, <clears throat> let me take a look at this one here. This, this won't take too long. Just one little twisty tie. It is a premium die cast brand, <coughs> but they only do um, they only do one make. They do lease their tooling out though. All right, we can remove this. So here you go, metal on metal, rubber tires to tread, a lot of really nice detail from Shelby Collectibles. Let's see if I can adjust the lighting. I really like this one. It looks really good. Look at the detail. Let's see if I can slow this down a little bit. So there you go. It's got really nice wheels, really nice engine detail, uh, side view mirrors. The, the back end with the brake lights and everything just looks really, really good. <clears throat> now, one complaint that I have with these, we'll see if this one has that issue. Doesn't appear to have it on this side. Let's wait and see the driver's side. Mm, not really, not too bad. This one actually came out really nice. So that is a very, very cool Mustang. Not a huge, oh geez, not a huge Mustang guy, but I do like this one. I think this one came out really nice from Shelby Collectibles. It's heavy too. You got the metal body with the metal base and the stripe on it. Let's see. The stripe on it is like a metal flake blue, but look at the tail lights. Got the Cobra Shelby GT350. That is a very, very nice piece for the 1 to 64 scale. Probably, um, not that I have a ton of them, but that's probably the nicest late model Mustang casting in my collection. All right, and then um, I'm going to do two videos, so uh, I'm going to wrap this up with, um, I'm going to wrap this video up with a little bag I found. It, it's uh, the Antique Mall today. There was a, a little box that had these little Ziploc bags, and he basically bundled five, some had five cars, some had six cars. I think even one or two of them had four cars, 
and they were like five bucks a bag. So I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know if that's a good price for this stuff or not. Um, I paid it just because there was one car in this bag that I saw that I really liked. And I've seen it before one other time, but it, I don't think, I don't know. I should probably check eBay before I make purchases like this. Because I one thing I can see is that it's not in mint condition. I don't know if any of these are. They do kind of look like they've been played with, but whatever. That's okay. Oh, man. He taped the top. A little bit of overkill. All right. He taped the top of the Ziploc closed, so it has to be cut open. So the first car is a Matchbox Super Fast, so that's kind of cool because I thought looking at it in the bag that it was uh, Hot Wheels, so let me take this Mustang down. Um, so it's a Matchbox Super Fast Chevy Corvette. Uh, the copyright date on the base is 1979 and it has the Goodyear Samson graphics on it and it's in played condition but it's not it's not too bad all the paint still there all the graphics are still there they're very legible um, looks pretty good there I think <clears throat> so hang on yeah, send a quick message here I apologize uh, by the way, all of these, these last four, this, this Corvette and the last four are all, they all appear to be older Matchbox. Alright, got that sent. So this next one is one that I already have, but mine is in horrible condition. This one appears to be mint, actually. looks like it's um, a couple of small flea bites on the fenders where it looks like it might have rubbed up against another car. And the windshield has a little bit of wear to it, but otherwise it's in really nice shape. Little Cadillac convertible. Not the greatest detail, but I always liked Matchbox cars better than Hot Wheels. I think they've always done a better job with the car. Now this one is made in Macau. Ford Sierra XR4. I think this is like that old XR4 Ti. Um, it is 1 to 58 scale. The wheels are quite interesting. It is not part of the super fast era. I think this is a late 80s, early 90s. And I don't think this was a car that was available in the US. You can see it's pretty trashed. Could use a restoration. Wow, this next one is pretty sweet. I didn't see this one in the bag. That's pretty dope. Color is really cool. I mean, it's not in good shape at all, but if it was, it would probably be my favorite. This thing is awesome. I don't think I have any sobs in my collection, but here you go. Opening doors, a Saab 9000. And uh, it has been loved and played with, but man, what a cool little car that is. So, yeah, basically there were five cars and I paid five bucks. So they were buck a car, which I can live with. I'm totally okay with that. Uh, this thing, if it was in mint, would be awesome. Freaking sob. I don't... 
know if I've ever seen a Saab Hot Wheel. Uh, anyways, here's the last one. <clears throat> this is the, the reason I bought um, the bag. This one too, it, it's in played with condition. A really cool car though. I saw this in another video and I thought, I was like, that is a cool car. Now the, the video that I saw and the guy had it in pretty much mint condition. This is 1 to 58 scale, 1985 copyright date on the base. It's a BMW 323i Cabriolet. A very interesting BMW casting. I think it's pretty awesome looking, other than the fact that it's beat to hell. Really cool car. Not sure about the hitch on the back, but man, Matchbox made some really cool stuff. And all their stuff back then had suspension. Um, I think the detail was a little bit bigger or better than Hot Wheels. Pretty much from like the late 70s, early 80s, all the way up to today. Um, I think Matchbox has always been better. There was a period of time where Matchbox got really bad, but there was also, around that same time, I think, Hot Wheels got really bad. Hot Wheels was terrible for a while. And then they finally came back around and got better. But uh, I think... Overall, Matchbox has always been better. If you look at the license models today, I don't think it's even close. I think Matchbox blows Hot Wheels away with the license stuff, the quality and the detail. So anyways, um, that's this video. Put my favorite cars from that haul up. It would probably be that one and that one. And then the next video is going to be premium import, premium detailed stuff. Probably a little bit of Kyosho. Maybe a little bit of uh, something else that you don't see every day. So I'll get this one uploaded and I will see you very soon with another awesome video. Well, I take that back. The video is not going to be awesome, but the content is going to be awesome. So I'll see you then.